All right, part two. Yeah, like I said, spread this on. 444 is a ripoff of of um, Magnum Optimus by Tragedy Gaddafi, if I said that right. Because I, 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 I used to have um, that album, when I would download mixtapes on my phone, my old phone, I would just play it like the whole day, the same album. And I heard, I know every song on there. I don't know why. I have a hard time pronouncing it because it's been a while. It's been almost nine years since I listened to it. But that album sounds just like, like, like the song um, Running sounds like Story of OJ. Just by the way the song is composed, it's a different, it's a different beat. Well, it's, a, it's sort of the same beat, but it's just like it sounds so similar. Like he heard that album too. But Back to OJ. You know, I'm not celebrating his death. I'm not an OJ fan. I'm just not. I'm I'm one who believes that. You know, um, I don't know where I'm going with this video, but I, I just believe this, man. We're all we all have that tribalistic instinct where if someone that doesn't look like us does something to one of us. We feel like we got to stick together. Like I said, this, it was all about race, man. And lucky for OJ, he had money to, to not go to prison. At least for that, for that one. Because the second time, you know, he was looking at really the rest of his life in jail. But he, he got off with, uh, with parole. Cause let me tell you a story. So I told you the first time I heard about OJ was the seventh grade. Now ten years later, I'm working at a bus company at the time. We, you guys know when OJ was paroled when he was announced when he first came home. It was a shooting in Las Vegas where OJ was. Uh, that that nightclub shooting that guy Stephen Padlock, you know, shot up the the nightclub. And we, we were jo- I jokingly said, damn, OJ, you just got out of prison yesterday. We were just joking about that. And I remember I had this this uh, old guy. Because I we used to, um, when I worked for this busing company, we would go to like Ben Salem. We would go further out, like Philadelphia, and pick up rides. And I would, I don't, I would never do this now at any job I'm at. I don't fuck with nobody because I'm, I'm all about my money, but. I used to talk to the customers. A lot of them were elderly and disabled. And I just said to this one guy, I was like, man, you heard about OJ? And he was like, yeah. And then he I, he just said, um, he, he said, you know who's going to get some money? He was like, you know who's going get, to get get that money? His, we were talking about his um, his NFL um, pension. <clears throat> and I was like, who? He was like, the Goldmans. And I was just like, don't they have enough money as it is? He didn't say shit to me the rest of the time. He, he caught that ride. He didn't say shit to me. He didn't say a fucking thing that rest of the ride. And every time I picked them up, he didn't have nothing to say to me. Because that, let me tell you, that is one conversation that divides people. If you talk about OJ Simpson, that's one conversation that pisses people off. I remember at the, I worked at BJ's, um, I worked if you if you depending on what region you're from, that's like uh that's like our Costco's. That's like Costco's and um and Sam Sam's goods. This guy um who worked at the front door who would check off receipts, I just mentioned OJ and he was like oh he was like oh I know he did it. And it's like nobody was there. Nobody was there to witness it. But once again, we're all divided by tribes. Like we want to say that our race, um, we want to. We it's like it, it. It's all that. That was all about race, man. You know. Now I'm not. I'm still not going to give you my opinion. I'm not going to say if he did it or not, because like I said, he was found not guilty. The glove didn't fit. But let's just say. Let's just say that hypothetically he did do it let's say that he did let's say that he admitted it to it because thanks to the fifth amendment he can't be tried 
he can't be tried for um for the same crime more than once. But let's just say that he he did do it. Think about this. Why does it bother you if he did do it and he's still free? Why does that bother you so much? Because some people who are upset, they don't even care about human life. They don't care about people starving. They don't care about children. They don't care about people suffering, people struggling out here. They don't give a damn. But why does it bother you if he did do it and he got off? Why does that tingle your skin so much? Because I I, I know why. But I want to know why do people have a problem with it so much? A crime that does not affect them that about two people they don't even know. I told you my dad always um he believed that that Nicole Simpson, somebody that she knew did it, and OJ was just was um was probably framed for the crime because I understand she had a drug problem. So that's a that's a that's a factor. That's a that's a um theory. But let me just say this for all the anti OJ people out there. I just believe if you don't if you don't want to support somebody like OJ Simpson, you should go all the way out. Don't support anybody who who's taking a life away. And that means anybody. Rappers, public figures, a- actors, comedians, anybody. Don't support them. And it doesn't it don't, I don't care what the circumstances are. If they technically took a life away, even through through combat, through through um through service. Cause we all know um as Bill as the late Bill Hicks said, you know, Marines and, and army, people in the army are basically hired fucking killers. They've taken and it, and it's, it's it's a contradiction in the Bible it says don't kill, thou shalt not kill, only if self defense and and through through war. That that's such a contradiction. But there are people who have taken lives away and you don't have a problem with it. I understand it's a difference with the method of how it was done, but they still took a life away. They still ended human life 